Green light set to go now. Ready for the rookie rebel set. About to go. Ready and racing. Jungle Juice slow to begin on the inside. McCurley's led away fast. He's going to dash to the lead down the straight with a lap to go. Jarek Bale is second. Going around the outside. Aston Ulysses. Three to Jungle Juice. Followed by Mapunga Warrior. Then came Nick's Bale. A long gap on the race. An extra mile. Kalinda Paddy. Going down the back straight though. And Aston Ulysses the leader. Led by about three lengths now. Going after Jarek Bale on the outside. Followed by McCurley's lead. Jungle Juice. And they were followed then by Mapunga Warrior. Coming up to the turn now. Aston Ulysses the leader. Rattling through. Jarek Bale on the inside. Jarek Jarek Bale dashed up on the inside, takes the lead, and Jarek Bale is coming away to win the Rocky Rebel. Second, Ashton Ulysses. Third is Mapunga Warrior. Followed in behind them, then by Jungle Juice, and next then came Kalinda Patty. Followed further back here by Nick's Bale. McCurley's had extra malt, and the time is showing around 34.03. Three, six, and four. Jarek Bale for Mark Delbridge has taken it out. He lobbed into a beautiful position early, and although we had a strong dog in front, Ashton Ulysses, the depth of Jarek Bale in recent times has been something to behold. His performance to take out the Maidment Memorial at Sandown a few runs ago was one of the best wins I think I've ever seen, let alone this year. And he has put a nice big rubber stamp on that and picks up his first group one. He's had a good run with some good middle distance dogs of late, Mark Delridge. Christo Bale retires and he picks up this boy. Yeah, a bit of a uh, Christo Bale-esque type, isn't he? Uh, yep. Certainly performs very well, very strong, suited to the middle trip, uh, has speed and strength, which helped him immensely. McCoolie's lad led, looked really exciting at that point when we saw uh, him get in front, thought, well, what can this greyhound run in time? But we then saw Aston Ulysses step up and take the lead and uh, off its form recently when it ran behind him in the, in the uh, Horsham Cup, uh, sorry, Horsham race, where they run the track record, clearly in great form, but uh, what a race that was, Wiz. Certainly was. Let's get the patch. Thanks, Wiz, with Mark Dalbridge and Mark, he's a superstar, I think we can say. Now he's been massive for months and tonight will be the best performance of his career. How good was that? Yeah, it was terrific. Um, like, he didn't get out too bad. And then um, when he was uh, second coming through here, I thought, oh, I've got every chance. But then the six um, went up on the outside. But as I said, he still proved to be strong, stronger than the six. And that was it. You had Dinah Dean win a group one here over 600 metres. You've had Christo Bale do what he's done over the past couple of years. Garrick Bale, see the best you've had now? Oh, he's getting close to, yeah, Chris, Christo. Chris, uh, Christo's been the best, but as I said, yeah, this this bloke's not far behind. I did win this race. This is the third time I won it. Flash your lights, the other one, in 2010. So a big performance from your team. And you can see everyone at home. Is Lisa here tonight? Miles, yeah, they'll be up and about. Yeah, they're both, yeah. Lisa and Miles are here. Sean's at um, Geelong with his own dog. And, um, yeah, the other, one, the other people are at home, yes. A big party tonight. Congratulations. Good job. No worries. Thank you. Mark Delridge there, guys, and Jarek Bale. I mean, similar sort of performance to the Maidment where we had Aston Ulysses out in front of him. He's got him both times in the time as well, 34.02. Seriously fast. That was some sort of performance. Yeah, it certainly was, and Patch touched on it. It was a bit of a replication of that Maidment Memorial win. Aston Ulysses second. Mapunga Warrior has run his normal honest race in third and Jungle Juice has run fourth. So Jarek Bale ended up SPing second pick. I think we touched, as I said in the preamble, we touched on it on chasing winners. They went up an extraordinary price. Good luck if you got in there early and... You've shopped very, very well. I just going to say, just quickly, with, with Jarek Bale, we mentioned the time that they've just run in that race, which is a very good time, but to consider the Greyhound didn't leave, had to work around a few Greyhounds, work overtime at sections of that race, even a more impressive run to, to consider how that Greyhound won that race. So very impressive Greyhound, Jarek Bale. And uh, which way will they go next week? It's an interesting question. Um, it's a very, very interesting question. There'd be every chance they may freshen him up and drop him back, drop him back to the Australian Cup the way he's going. Very well could. Uh, or could we see him step up to the Australian trip uh, with his form and the way he's capable of running times? Um, he could put himself in a great position over the Australian trip as well. So some decisions for the Delbridge camp to make after celebrations tonight, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> um, all right. What did they go? 3402, 881, 2175, 3402. So that's everything you need there for the Meadows. When he's next race number seven, and this is the third leg of your quaddy. Got a link back in uh, here at the Meadows. Spring paper.